Hi, I'm Kelsey from Pennsylvania, and I'm going to be reading Monsters, Inc. What I Did on My Summer Vacation. Monsters, Inc. What I Did on My Summer Vacation. Mike Wazowski raced toward the giant front doors of Monsters, Inc. He wanted to get to work early because he was collecting laughs from his friend Boo. Hey, kiddo, Mike said when he got to Boo's bedroom. He immediately began telling jokes and acting silly. Boo was happy to see the one-eyed monster, but she didn't laugh quite as much as usual. Is something wrong? Mike asked. Boo pointed to some hand-drawn pictures on her wall. There was one of her school and another of kids holding up photos. Mike wasn't quite sure what Boo was trying to tell him. You need pictures of a school? Mike guessed. Boo shook her head and pointed to herself, then to a drawing of a camera. Mike was still confused. You want to go to photography school? Boo laughed and shook her head again. Finally, after a lot of pointing and drawing, Mike figured out what Boo was trying to tell him. School began the next day, and she didn't have any summer vacation pictures to show her class. Why didn't you come to Monsters, Inc. with me? Mike suggested. I have a camera you can borrow, and we can surprise Sully. Boo and Mike stepped through Boo's closet door and into Monsters, Inc. It was very unusual for a child to travel to the monster world, but Mike didn't think anyone would mind. After all, Boo had been to Monsters, Inc. before. It was still early, so there weren't many monsters on the laugh floor yet. Follow me, Mike said. The camera should be right over here. Mike took Boo to a supply closet and grabbed his old camera. Let's see if it still works, he said. As Boo tried to take a picture, the camera's bright flash went off. Ah, cried Mike. Boo laughed so hard that the lights flickered. Yep, I guess it works. Mike smiled and rubbed his sore eyes. Then Mike led Boo back to the laugh floor. It was now full of monsters getting ready for work. Oh, Sully, he cried out to his friend. I have a surprise for you. Kitty, Boo explained, using her nickname for her furry friend. Sully was so happy to see her. He wrapped her up in a big hug. Everyone on the laugh floor was excited to see Boo. Many of the monsters showed off their new tricks. Boo made sure to take pictures of everyone. Next, Mike and Sully took Boo to the beach, to an amusement park, then went all over the monster pools trying to pick a whole summer's worth of fun just into a few hours. By the end of the visit, Boo had lots of photos. She and Mike tried to decide which pictures were the best ones to take to school. But when Sully heard what they were planning, he frowned. You know that's against the rules, Sully told Mike. Gee, Sully, I was just trying to help, Mike said. Sully sighed. I know, Mike, but it's my job to protect Monsters, Inc. We have to keep the Monsters world a secret from the human world. How are we going to tell Boo? asked Mike. Sully looked over his shoulder. Boo was already looking sad. Sully hated to see Boo so disappointed. Please, Kitty, she said. Okay, Sully said finally. I'll let you take one photo, but I could pick which one. Boo cheered. At school the next day, Boo told her class all about her special adventure. Her classmates didn't believe her. Her teacher didn't believe her, so Boo pulled out the picture. The teacher gasped. That looks like Bigfoot. No, Boo giggled. Kitty. Because the photo was so blurry, none of her classmates believed her story. But Boo didn't care. With Mike, Sully, and all her friends, she'd had the best summer vacation ever.